So lovelies, this little how-to video is we're going to use Melise as our beautiful face today. And we're going to just do a quick little video on how to apply for Melise of ease of application, our JB foundation that dries to a matte finish. Hold that for me. So we're going to use this brush, our little fluffy brush. I am going to decanter, no sticking your fingers in the product. I'm gonna get about that much and I'm going to pop it onto the back of my hand. Next, I'm going to really load up. Now this is just one way that we are going to show you. It's not the only way. So we'll do this face, this side of Melissa's face first. So I'm going to apply basically where I want to put the majority of my product at the moment to cover the redness on Melissa's face. So I'm just going to place the product. Then the thing I love about this brush is because then I can actually airbrush, it's probably not even the right word, give it an airbrush finish. And basically blend it out blend it down here where you can't sit along the neck so this is a really good so this is our JB3Y family so it gives such a beautiful coverage so if you look straight on that is minimal product application and it's covered enough of Melissa's redness without I didn't trail it on so it will dry to a matte finish. How's it feel? Lovely, light. Yeah, it does. Beautiful and then coverage. what I recommend, especially too, so if you wanted to keep building that product up, then you can apply and do the same process. And as I say to the clients, then place more product where you need it. So if you were finding that you were on a particular day, just a little bit more, like a little bit more redness is coming through, then apply more here. Um, and place it where you need it. And then you can blend it out down, obviously making sure that it is your color match. Um, so what I'm gonna get you to do is I'm gonna get you to do the other side. So I'll give you this. I find, especially for you, Melise, like so that you're getting that coverage without it looking like it's troweled on. So you can use a sponge or a foundation brush. It's completely up to you. But because I don't want to create any more redness or heat in Melissa's face, I just find with this application of our big buffer, it sort of almost sits on top of your skin without creating you know, a lot of like pressing movement that a sponge might you know, start to um, produce a lot of heat and redness in your skin that we're trying to counteract. So I'm going to decanter. So I'd probably just pop it onto the back. So then what I would do is if you can, load your brush up. I'll probably put way too much on there. Yeah, I'm just down there. And as I said, you know, you can keep building this product up for the coverage that you personally want. And it's really important with you and the heat and the redness that you create that you don't stick something on there that's actually going to aggravate it. So that is the one thing about our JB foundation that dries to a mat. It allows your skin to breathe. Anything that doesn't allow your skin to breathe or in particular that you can feel on your skin, it's not gonna be. It's not going to help you cause their moments. <laughs> How's it feel? Beautiful. So easy, hey. So light. Mm. Mm. I love it. <laughs> Thanks, Louise. Bye. <laughs>